Hey, my name is Brent, and this is my game audio technical reel using FMOD and Unity's 3D Game Kit. So the first step is to take a look at the game and decide what it should sound like. Very stylized sci-fi, maybe even veering a little bit cartoony. So with that in the front of my mind, I'm going to go into Reaper and start building out a palette. So here in Reaper, we built some fun FX chains, and I'll record lots of different mechanical sounds. And depending on the material, it'll probably need some high passing, noise cleanup, and since I recorded it in a less than ideal space, my living room has a lot of reflections, I'll strip out some of that with either a D reverb or a transient shaper, pulling some sustain out to make it feel a little tighter. It may not seem like a huge deal, but once we zhuzh all this up, we'll end up magnifying any imperfections and run them through things like frequency shifters, filters, grain delays, and so on. And then I'll record the output while I play around and modulate these different parameters. And then listen back to it and trim out the bits that I thought were most interesting. Then all these pieces get rendered out and categorized into a library so that I can use them as building blocks to make my sounds later. Another technique is to use no source at all and just loop the track back into itself to create feedback loops. This is a really great way to make energy fields and things like that. I'm also going to run some of these things through Tonsterm Traveler to make some whooshes and impacts and things like that. It's just a really good way to add a lot more movement and interest to these textures that I'm making. All right, so we built up a pretty fun little palette to work with here. So the next step is to go play the game and start making an asset list. Yeah, old school. There, there's something about the hand mind connection. So I'm going to capture my footage here so that I can start designing. Sometimes I like to add in this horrible little test tone so I can know very precisely when my FMOD event is triggering and design around that to avoid any timing issues. Okay, I'm gonna drop my footage into Reaper and use that library we made. I have most of the fundamentals like big impacts, whooshes and such, and I can easily cut up some of these textures to make risers and tails. So I'm gonna build these out and process them further to get rendered out and brought into FMOD. Okay, now we're in FMOD. For most events and whatever time permits, I'm going to try to pull in several variations on a sound. This goes into a multi-instrument where it'll play a random variation. This is critical because when a sound gets played repeatedly, the player will start to pick up on patterns and it'll quickly break immersion and that is the very last thing that we want. I'm also going to gently add some randomization to the pitch, volume, and start offsets where possible to add a little more variation. I also have these sounds bust together for more control over the mix. For example, during the golem fight, I can use a side chain to move the footsteps and ambience out of the way during the golem's attacks. I consider these sounds extraneous during this particular sequence. If they're not crucial for the player or the narrative, we can clean things up by moving them out of the way. We're also using snapshots here for reverbs and for different ambiences. When the player steps within a certain bound, we tell FMOD to go to our snapshot and play a different background ambience and to send some of our sounds to our reverb. I wanted this part to feel otherworldly and, and kind of warped around the teleporter, like space-time is kind of wonky around here. So hopefully the change in atmosphere and reverb kind of reflects that. One little minor touch I added was to make a command instrument that stops the weapon swing event. This is because I thought one of the most important elements for this fight is for the player to know when they've successfully damaged the golem by hitting the glassy core, and only when the barrier is down. So I wanted to make sure that the feedback for that hit registering really punches through, and moving other things aside is one of the best ways to do that. Lastly, we're also calling up a snapshot whenever the player takes damage, which creates a low pass effect and this horrible annoying beeping sound. That hopefully helps the player to really feel the weight of that impact. It's a bit of a cliche, but it's effective. In a real scenario, this effect might be a little bit too much and may have to be pulled back or even scrapped entirely, but I thought it was a fun little touch just for demonstration. Anyway, that's about all I have, so thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope this was fun and informative, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one.